So this is by far how you grow from zero coins to a million plus coins. It's the quickest way, the best possible uh, methods possible. So stay tuned. We're going to go right into it. So what we're going to do is the first step. If you got zero coins, try to search for your club and try to get like a couple of cases together. Go to the club and sell, quick sell everything possible. Every, everything with value, bulls, shirts, uh, managers, bronze players, anything possible. Get as much coins in the club and then we got started. Let's say you got 5k after this or you play like a couple of games. That's also a possibility. Let's say after this, you got like 2 to 5k, which is doable, right? For everybody. What we're now going to do is we're going to go to players. We're going to go to um, player game performance. After this, we're going to go to versions. And we're going to go to the silver players. This, could, this also works with bronze players, but I prefer silvers. All silvers. What we're now going to do is we're going to go... Um, we order by game. So this filter gives us the gives gives us the most popular aka the most used silver plays in the game so one of the most used is is bella Kotchup. so now let's click on bella Kotchup and see what we can do so we already see he got some value to him right he's 900 coins so this gives this shows that he got value to him so let's now go in the game and let's search up bella Kotchup. And this is also how you trade silver cards. The best way to trade silver cards and to make most, the most coins out of silvers. So, my Bella Kotchup, according to Fitbit, was 900 coins. He's 800 coins on the market, right? What we're now going to do is we're going to check where the supply is at. So, he got a little bit more supply. Like, he, like, I, don't, like I, think, I think we can sell him over 900 coins. Look. There is barely, like, there's not a lot of supply. Nine, like, this 950 is annoying. I think you can resell this guy for 900 coins. Even if you buy this 800 coin once, tax around this price is like 550 coins. On the first try, if we, if we, if we sell this, this is already around, let's say, 60 coins. If we, if we buy this and we lazy sell it for 900 coins, and he will sell, because think about this. As soon as the supply start, uh, dries up, this guy is probably lazy selling him as well. This one. Because as soon as the supply dries up, and we know people like these cards, this one is going to sell. So around 950 to 900 coins is the sell price because there's low supply. As soon as these are not on the game anymore, and let's say on, on, a, on an hour, there's nobody listing Bella Kotchup and nobody's packing them. That means at a certain time, yours is the cheapest on the market for like either 900 coins or 950. And this guy is probably doing this method, so reselling it for 950 for a couple of hours. Because if the supply is all dried, drying up, this one is going to be the cheapest at a certain point of the market. And he's going to sell because people are going to buy him up. So that's how you trade silvers. But what you also want to do is you want to check the bids. Because, like, think about this. This guy is winning up for 600 coins. If you manage to win this for 600 coins and you resell it for 900 coins, you make a quick 250 coins. Profit after tax just of this bit and just of one card. So what you want to do is you want to go to silver cards, win them either on undercut snipes or win them on bits. And then sell them where you see the most amount of supply, aka 950 coins. 900 coins, like these guys are probably trading with these silver cards as well because this guy listed two for like 900 coins. So this guy knows how to trade these silvers and like lazy seller for like 900. So if you manage to win it for 600, 650 coins, that's an easy 200 coin per card. So let's go to another one. Um, let's go to, let's see if we can do the same thing with Amin. Amin Adil. Nah, let's go to one. Is there like a more expensive one? Sikiri Dembella. Nah, let's stick with Amin the Adil, at least. Amin Adli. Let's see what the situation is with Amin Adli. And let's see if we can do the exact same thing. So according to Fitbin, he's 700 coins already. So 
Let's see where we see the supply and what is what what is uh his lazy sell price is gonna be. AKA when the supply is rise up, where is this price? Why is he gonna sell? Around 800 coins. So one if you buy this one and you resell it for 800 coins, you make 60 coins. But we want we want more coins, right? So what we want what we're gonna do is we're gonna win them on bits. Um there's no open bit. You can you like you can also win them on snipes, but what you can do already, right? We see we see a couple of potential bits here. 300 coins. So bid on this already. Boom. Bid on this already. Boom. Bid on this already. Um, this is too high. Like every open bit you see, start start bidding on it, right? So you're not gonna lose track of it. And do this with every card. Also do this with um with the cut shop guy. Alright, now we're gonna go to the next card. Let's look into um Let's look into Nico Schultz. Nah, it's too cheap. Like how how more expensive the cards are, how better. Let's look at the Maxim Leitch. Maxim Leitch. Um, how do you write it? Maxim Leitch. Hard name. All right, let's see how much much cheap light is. Ooh, ooh, my boys, look at this. Two undercuts, 500 coins, 550 coins. So these are the type of undercuts we want. Let's now figure out the sell price. So there's no supply on the 800 coins. Not 850. No supply on the 850. Oh, this could be a nice deal. So around 900 coins is where we see supply. You could even say 950 or maybe a K. Now around 950 is where we see supply. So boom, if we buy these, one, two, potentially even the 750, but I would stick with these two. Maybe we went like a bit on this plate as well. Let's see if we got more open bits. Ooh, a 750 bit. A little bit, you could bid on it, but I prefer the other ones because they are a little bit cheaper. But as you guys see, right? This is how you can see them. How, this is how you see that this method is working. You see this bid for 700 coins already. And it's not even ending. Like, it's going to be in a, it's going to be a bidding war once the card ends, right? So that's already, that already shows that they sell for a certain price. So even if we, if you bought these two, this one and this one, we already make coins. Going off, they they already like it, it already proves that they sell for seven hundred coins. Look at this. So this already shows that you can make money with these undercuts if you just go to them and you sell away your supply. And that's literally it. It literally shows that we can make money with these cards. Because if I buy this one right now, I don't want to do it because I don't really care about the cheap coins. But if I buy this right now and I sell it for this price, I make hundred and fifty coins just of this. So this is what you guys want to do. If you guys have zero, let's say you got five, let's say you got 2K, start with doing this. It literally shows that we can make money with these silvers. But we know, we, we are a little bit, like this guy is trading silvers as well. This guy knows as well that, oh, I think he bought the 500 coin cards. Yeah, he, he actually bought them. Look at this. This guy, it wasn't me. You guys saw the screen. This guy is silver trading. He bought the 500 coin players. And he resells it for 950 coins. This couldn't be you guys. Look, both of the 500 coins are gone. And he's listing a ready C supply. Does it make sense? Look, he listed two. He listed both the cards, I think. Both the 500 coin cards are gone. And right now he's relisting it for 950 coins. AKA, where you see the supply. I would say sell it for 900 coins. I wouldn't sell it for 950. But you guys can see, this method is actually working. So let's do like keep doing this till you got around 50 to 100. Okay, and this should be in like a couple of hours. Like you guys see it already. A couple of surges, and we got a couple of K together already. So keep doing this till you got around like 50 to 100K. Let's go back to Fitbin. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go to players. Hold up a second, my boys. Yeah, we're gonna go to players. Then we're gonna go to 
the um, versions and we're gonna go to filtered specials right over here filter specials filter specials now we're gonna click here it might seem um, um, hard but it's really easy this is this is taking off all the SPCs on objective players um, it's already excluded exclude so now don't now we don't have any SPC players because it doesn't make sense we don't need SPC players because we can trade with them um, what we now gonna do is so right oh one second my boys I made a mistake I didn't do it to um play game performance my bad my boys apologies apologies sorry but let's do like what you want to do we go to play a game play game performance versions speed it up a little bit filter specials yeah now we can order on game so right now this takes every special in the game and it filters out um icon play so this is only out of pack players no icons in this filter so we got older on game so now we got one of the most uh demanded most used out of pack special players in the game so let's look how can we trade these type of players so let's click on tio hernandez tio hernandez is 35k but if we look into the markets of history, this guy is selling for 39k already. This guy is a buy already. My boys, we're doing this all live. I'm not making this up. It's literally on the screen that you guys can make money with these methods. Look, people are gonna list this guy for 35.7k. But look at this. This is live, my boys. <laughs> I'm not making this up. He is actually selling for 38. If you buy this 38, 39, if you buy this 35K already, you literally make one to two K profit per card. And this is just one flip and one. We found this in a couple of minutes, my boys. A couple of minutes. 39K. Um, 40K. 40K. You can laser sell this guy close to 40k. 42k! 40.5k! Any single one you buy for 35k, you can potentially make 2 to 4k profit per card. It shows it over here, my boys. 42k. We buy it for 35. Yeah, 35k. We resell it for four, like we resell it for like 40k plus. Because he was selling a lot for over 40. Look, 42, 42. You guys see it on the screen. 42, 42, 42. That gives us around 4K, 4 to 3K profit per card. And the only thing you have to do is snipe them up. So this is going to be your next method. So let's say you, you gained around 100K with the silver trading. Now you're going to go, now you're going to use these cheap out of pack special players. And now you're gonna trade with these type of plays, you're gonna trade up towards like let's say three to five hundred K. And that what we're now gonna do is we're gonna use the same filter, exact same filter, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna up the price to 100 k So right over here, you, you click 100 k right? So what we now gonna get is the most popular demanded out of pack players in the game, but with a like of a bigger budget, like they are more expensive. So we're gonna do the exact same trick, but the profits are also gonna be bigger. These players you can make up to us five to fifteen k per card. So let's look into Neymar. Let's see if Neymar is cheap as well, and we can flip him. So according to Fitbit, people are gonna list this guy up for hundred and fifty nine k. You guys see it? Let's look into the lazies. So 160, 165. Currently, Neymar is not a buy. We could actually snipe him, but it is not worth it compared to like Tio Hernandez. I mean, he sells for 170 to be fair. 170. So it could work, but it's not a great deal. So we're going to look for another one. We're just going to go through these filters till we find a nice deal. That's basically what you guys want to do. So let's have a look into Lucio or like Walker. We're gonna do the exact same steps, my boys. 
It's really easy. It's just, it's, it's pretty much the same, but just on a bigger budget. And the profit are better. So, Walken is 213 k Let's say we snap Walker for 200k. 205, which is doable, my boys, which is doable. Let's say you're gonna snipe this Walker for like 205k. How much does he sell? 230k on lazies. 230k on lazies. It's not a, like you, you, can, you can find these type of deals and you make around. If you snap over 205k, you make 10k just on that. Even if you snap, let's say you snap over 200k and you resell it for like 220k, you make 10k profit. Ah, uh, let's go to the next one. So let's go to Tio Hernandez. Uh, it could be risky because he got a team of the year impact, but let's check it out. I don't really like this one, but we can always have a have, have a look, right? Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ah, uh, Tio Hernandez, 120k. How much is he lazy selling? He's 120, he sells for 130. So if you snipe this guy for 100 and let's say 115k, which is really doable, my boys. Like get like snipe for two, three minutes, you will you will see him close to 115k, right? We all been sniping players. If you manage to snipe him, my boys. If I speak, my guys. Tio Hernandez is 120k. Look into the lazies, my boys. Look in the lazies. My boys. Chat, my boys. YouTube chat. What are we saying, my boy? Am I not the best? Am I not the best that gives you the, the best trader to give you guys advice? Look at this, my boys. Tio Hernandez is currently 120k on Fitbit. So people gonna list them over there. Look for how much you can sell them. 134k. 130k, 135, 135k, 140k. So even if you buy this, you can make 7k a piece on lazy, a lazy seller. Every single card you buy for 120k, you make 7k profit. But if you got some patience, you can make up towards 10k profit. If you just buy this card off the market and you lazy sell it. This should easy bring you to 100k in literally a day. Just of this Tio Hernandez, you can make an easy 100k of this flip. You wait a couple of minutes, you wait like maybe an hour, all them sell, you make 100k. Because every if you buy five, let's say we say we trade it up towards 500k, 600k. That that gives you room to buy like four Tio Hernandez. That's already like if you let's say you make 10k a, a card, that's 40k just of this trade. It took us five minutes to find. Five minutes to find this flip. And look how many deals we got over here. Like all these cars, you can put like these are potential deals. Like we randomly just clicked on Tio Hernandez, and it was a nice deal. A 10, a, a, 100, a 10k undercut. So my boys, this is what you guys want to do next. And this should bring you easy to hold it like a mil plus. So my guys, if you guys like more of these type of videos, make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to uh, so, uh, make sure to uh, comment as well. Please leave a comment. Hopefully you guys make them coins. Be safe. I'm out. Peace.